it's Tybug and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel and as you can see we have new hair so it's officially a new phase of Tybug and also a new phase in my life so right now we are gray it's not the perfect gray yet but I was just so excited to like let you guys know that I'm going gray <laughs> not literally but <laughs> this is the hair now I used the dye strawberry leopard in the color blow and smoke uh, this is a toilet paper because it has a little bit of dye on the outside. So I used one and like a fourth bottle of this. So this is the leftover. I think I'm going to do another round of dyeing because you can see there's some still blonde parts in it. And I think that's because I dyed it with the leave-in conditioner in. But the parts that really did take, I like them a lot. Like it's a, a really nice, it's m more of a neutral gray than like a blue gray or a purple gray. Uh, this looks more like a green gray back here, so I'm hoping most of my hair will turn out this gray color. And originally I wasn't going to go gray, not for a while at least, <laughs> because I didn't think I'd ever be able to get my hair light enough to do a light color. But when I did my last round of bleaching, because I wanted to do it all over color, so I like have it in the back too. It's probably not that great back here, but... I don't need to see that, so shh, don't tell me. Anyways, so um, it turned out really light because I did two rounds of bleaching and it like, I was like, maybe I should do a light color, see how it looks. And I had dyed my hair purple for a while, but I had this like leave-in conditioner sort of color depositing shampoo conditioner that was purple. And then once it started to wash out, it turned this like really pretty silver purpley color. And I really liked the way that looked on me and so did a lot of my viewers. So I was like, maybe I should try actually gray or actually silver. So this is an actual gray. If I don't really like the way this turns out, I'll just put the purple in and wait for it to wash out a little bit and then I'll have that really pretty silver again. So this is what we have right now. I'm just gonna give you guys a quick little review on this dye. I actually have never tried this brand before, but I've heard a lot about it from um, some of like the influencer emails. Uh, I get so I've been excited to try I just never really saw a color that I wanted to try that wasn't available in other brands but when I saw this blow and smoke they had like the actual hair samples at Sally so I was like ooh that might actually be perfect originally I was gonna do the Arctic Fox Periwinkle and their sterling silver I think it's called but they didn't have the silver color at Arctic Fox and I was like oh maybe the periwinkle is just gonna be too blue so I decided to try a new brand so this is the strawberry leopard in blow and smoke and I think it applied really nicely at first it looked really light on the hair but then as I let it develop it actually did turn darker and it got to the point where I was worried it was gonna be too dark I was like I bleached my hair so many times and now it's just gonna be black again but no it did wash out very beautifully unfortunately there are parts that didn't take to the dye that well and there are some parts up here but I've been getting compliments on my hair just the way it is so I'm like ooh, maybe maybe it's a look maybe it is and don't mind the crown I just I always love wearing crowns when do you get to wear a crown I'm gonna wear a crown whenever I can so this is a great dye. I'm gonna try and do another round and I will post pictures to see how that looks. That'll be on my Instagram and probably on my TikTok as well. Um, I'll see how this washes out. I've only done the initial washing of the dye, so I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out once I start doing shampoo and all of that. But this is a semi-permanent conditioning hair color and I guess it has a Neurobond technology which helps to repair and rejuvenate the condition of hair. And it's cruelty-free, vegan, and gluten-free. I didn't know hair dyes needed to be gluten-free, but it is all of that. And it has a whole bunch of warnings on the back, like all hair dyes. But I really like the way this went on my hair. It smelled great, and it turned out pretty good. So I'm excited to see how this goes. And they have a lot of really cool colors with um, Strawberry Leopard. And they have some conditioners and shampoos that are good for colored hair. So I might take a look at those as well. If you guys want to review, let me know. But that is it for my hair dye review. I will post more pictures on Instagram, like I said, once I do another round of bleaching. Not another round, once I do another round of dyeing. So now that I'm gray, we need to do a look to commemorate this era of my life 
of my time on this earth. So first, I'm going to put some gray nails on. These are the Dashing Diva Gloss Ultra Shine Gel Palette. Wow, this is a really long name. Salon Gel Effects Non-UV Dry Time No Soak Off Removal Chip Resistant Shine Nail Stickers. So it's really pretty gray and it has sort of like a marbling special and some lighter color ones, but I'm not gonna use those, I'm just gonna do the grays. And I wear these nails a lot because it's a lot of work to do actual nail polish and stuff. So these are like my my favorite sort of things to do and people always compliment me on my nails. I'm like, great, there's stickers. And apparently these are cruelty free and vegan as well. So it comes in these little plastic container and it has, let me just take them all out. It has two big ones if you have really big thumbs, I guess, or if you wanted to have a, a statement big toenail. Then they have some, they usually have like a row of statement ones so like you can do it on your ring finger or your pointer finger and stuff. So those are usually like the, the draw to whatever the pack you get are. So this has a marble and a glitter effect. And then the regular is just like this blue gray with a pink on it. So I'm not gonna use the pink probably. And then in the packaging, it comes with instructions and a nail file and an alcohol wipe. So what you do first is you take the alcohol wipe and you wipe it off your nails so like you get all the natural oils off. Then you like see which sticker is gonna line up with your finger and you put it on and then you file off the excess. So I'll show you how to do it for like maybe my thumb and then I'm gonna do the rest on my own cause it's, it's not too time consuming but it does take a little bit of time so it's not really something that you guys are gonna wanna watch this whole time, right? So I usually try and find what's closest to my nail size and because it comes with two strips, you just do the same size on each finger. So I'm sometimes I get them too big or too small but most of the time nobody can tell so I don't really care that much. And then you just smooth out the edges. And if you're getting bubbles, you pull it up a little bit and you stretch it. And then you get back to the corners. You smooth that all out. Okay, so now it's all on my nail. And I have this excess here that I'm just gonna file off. Sorry if you can hear my fan. It's like uneven, I guess, so it doesn't sit properly up there. So I just file, get it started, and the end comes off. Sometimes I used to save the end because it would be enough to put on another nail, but they've made these stickers shorter, I think, because now I can't, it's not like enough to put on another nail. So it's just for one nail. Okay, so it's a little bit rough, so I might just like cut the ends a little bit so it's more um, uniformed, but that's basically what it looks like. So I'm gonna go do the rest of my nails now. The nails are done. For some reason, this thumb didn't take very well, but it's fine. They look pretty, and I don't have to wait for them to dry, so it's what I wanted. I ended up doing the marbling on the middle finger and the sparkle on the ring finger. So now let's get to the makeup look. So first I'm gonna do a little bit of the face, then I'm gonna go back to the eyes and then finish the face because I want to try a couple of new products. I will be having reviews on some of these separately, but for now, let's just get into the makeup look. So I'm not gonna do my forehead. I don't really feel like it, especially because I have bangs there, so what's the point? So I'm gonna go in with the Amuse Do, which one is this? Do Power Vegan Cushion in 04 Tan. I have done a mini review on this on my TikTok and I really like this one because it has a mesh instead of a cushion so it just feels like it spreads more evenly my crown oh well and it's just so light on the skin that it doesn't feel like anything really and it's super Nice. It's like okay coverage, but I don't want it to be too much because then it starts to look a little cakey. 
So what I do is I put some in there, I spread it out on the inside of that, and then I go on to the face. And because I don't put it on my full face, I kind of do areas. I make sure to, you know, sort of blend out the edges so it doesn't just look like it's only on certain parts of my face. And my fan is really irritating me. That's so frustrating that it makes so much noise. Okay, next I'm going to do a little bit of contouring with the Colorgram Reforming Contour Stick. This is in the shade 02 Cool Tone. I figure if you're gonna get a contour, it has to be cool tone. It doesn't really make sense to get a warm tone contour. So I'm just gonna be doing that. I'm also filming a TikTok at the same time. So let's put that over there. And I'm just gonna be doing that on the inside of my nose here. So I'll just show you guys. Mm, just get both sides now. And at the end of this, it has its own little blender. Oh, there was a gecko in my room. I thought it was a roach. I had just caught a roach the other day. I was like half awake and I caught it and I was like, cool. But I've been a little jumpish since then. So that's just a little definition on my nose there. I'm not sure how well it shows up on my skin because I mean, see, you can see some it there, but once I blend it in, I don't know. Okay, on the screen, I'm gonna be showing what my inspiration, inspiration is for this look. And I'm gonna start with a little bit of a sort of grayish base just to sort of tie into my look a little bit more. I'm using the Natasha Denona Xeon palette and I'm starting with the white into the inner part of my eye and just kind of spreading that out all over. I'm gonna bring my mirror a little closer. Then I'm just gonna use this lightest gray here in the outer part of my eye because I don't want this to be too dark, but I want it to have a little bit of coloring for the silver I'm gonna be putting down. And I'm just using the same brush to do both of these. Just so it's a nice little light wash on the eye. And I didn't put a base on, so it may be a little patchy, but like, who cares? It is what it is, bro. Okay, so I think that is good. I'm gonna do one eye at a time, like always, I think. I think that's like always. And now I'm gonna do the silver graphic liner. So I originally got the idea to do this because I found this NYX Epic Wear Metallic Eyeliner and the silver was just so pretty that I was like, ooh, that's gonna look so good if I have silver hair. So it's like all tying in together. And this is it. So uh, this is gonna be a little bit a little bit hard for me to do while talking so I might do a voiceover but I'm going to get started now I'm probably gonna start with a couple of guiding dots And like always, I kind of use both arms to stabilize myself. And that was just one dip into this. This is so pretty. I love it. And I have a little bit of hooded eyes, so I need to make sure it's above the point so it doesn't like, you know, kind of disappear when I open my eyes. I look good. And 
then I'll do a little bit of a, a black wing, but I'm gonna do that with shadow so it's not as defined. It's not as like swoopy as the models looks, but it's it's my own little twist, a little bit more curved. And then I'm gonna take the black again and I'm gonna go on my lower lash line till about midway. And then I'm gonna go out a little bit from my natural lash line just so I can create space to do a false lash. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go do the other eye now. I'll be back. I ended up just turning off my fan because it was bothering me. So I put the AC on, so you need to let me know which you prefer, I guess, because to me the AC sounds loud, but the fan sounds louder. So we'll see because the microphone is facing me right now. So hopefully it's not picking up the AC at all, but I'm not quite sure. So anyways, let's get back to the look. This side looks pretty good, but this side, it's like a little bit too low. Like if you see when I look, it's like, I don't know. I can see it, but I doubt you guys can. So I'm going to put gems on. A look isn't complete without gems, but I'm just going to be doing some, I'm going to do regular silver ones, not some multi-chromes. And this is the same gems I kind of use all the time. I got them on Amazon. It's this, Amaz, Amaz. Anyways, so I'm just gonna, where on the model, it shows the white dots. That's where I'm going to be putting the gems. And I might put them in a couple of other spots, but I think for now, that's where I'm going to put them. So let's do one there, one there, and one there. I love gems so much. Like, I can't even imagine doing makeup without gems most of the time. So. Oh, it's pouring rain. I was like, why does my AC sound so much louder than usual? It's because it's pouring rain. I kind of want to put a gem here, but I feel like maybe that's too much. That's a problem with me doing gems. Is I want to put them everywhere. It's like any point that looks like it needs some highlighting. Let me put a gem there. Let's do a little bit of the face before I get ahead of myself. So this is most of these um, Korean products that I'm gonna be using right now are is from Shop Clean Skin. I have a code with them. It's Thai Bug, all capital. But this is the Focalore blush. It's the Perfection Velvet Blush in 302. And I'm just going to be taking a big fluffy brush and I'm going to be putting it on the apples of my cheeks. Ooh, it's a very bright blush. Uh, <laughs> let me just sort of blend that in a little bit with a big fluffy brush. I want freckles. So let's do some freckles. And this is the She Glam Freck Please in Dark Chocolate. So this is still a little trial and error for me. So you put some, you tap, and you tap them around. Okay, that looks good to me. That looks good to me. <sighs> okay, I'm going to do, I really like 
I've been really into Korean makeup recently, so I've been looking at sort of Korean style makeup. A lot of what I thought was Korean style makeup is actually Doyen makeup, which is Chinese style makeup. So I get a little confused of which belongs to, you know, which culture, because here in America, I feel like it gets mixed up. A lot of people think that something that's Korean is Japanese or something that's Japanese is Chinese or Korean and it gets all mixed up. But I'm pretty sure Egosol is Korean but a lot of the makeup looks that I've been looking at are Doyen. So I think Egosol is kind of popular in both. Please correct me if I'm wrong but based off of what I've seen and researched, I think it's both. But Egosol, I think, is a Korean word. So anyways, I'm using uh, the NYX Professional Eye Pencil in Taupe. And I've been using that to kind of contour my Egosol a little bit. Because when I smile, I have a little bit, but like, I want it to be a little bit more defined. And I kind of just go underneath where it is in my eye socket and sort of spread it out. And usually this works best when I have something light to put where I'm contouring it. So like, what is this? So I would take a little bit of the white and put it right where I, above where I contoured. So it kind of brightens that area up a little bit. But this pencil is a little too sharp. So I've been trying to wear it down, but it hurts a little bit. And you can see it pulling my skin. So there are better products on the market for this. But this is just what I have right now. Can you see a difference at all? Just pretend that you can for my sake. <laughs> okay. Uh, next. We did freckles, blush, eyebrows. I always forget to do my eyebrows. But this is also from Shop Clean Skin. They have a lot of the most popular K-Beauty brands. This is from Unleashia. It's the Defining Brow Pencil. And look at how itty bitty the tip of this is. It's so tiny, but it, it really does the most beautiful brows. And it has a little brush on the end. So I'm just going to fill in some of the sparseness. I have pretty defined brows to start off with, so I'm very blessed in that regard. And I'm just kind of brushing it up a little bit, so. I want to try to do, to draw on bottom lashes, but I'm not very good at it. So I'm just going to do a couple and hope for the best. Ooh, this brush doesn't look too great. This is the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Eyeliner. I haven't used this in a while, so I'm kind of worried it's going to mess up my look. Those are some really long bottom lashes. I know how to fix this because I have these individual lashes. So I'm gonna put some lashes down there and hope that corrects some of that. So I use different glues for either doing my gems or my lashes because this is my gem glue that is all messed up. So I decided to use more of a cleaner glue when it's going onto my eye water line. So, they're both from the brand, actually wait. So this is the Duo brush on adhesive and this is the Kiss strip lash adhesive. And I've been applying these with my fingers cause I, my hands shake too much doing the, the tweezers. So this is like the best I can do. But surprisingly these look a lot better than just like regular lashes when I do them. And the lashes are on. I absolutely adore these individual lashes. I just broke the case. <gasps> oh, well, I got these from Amazon. They're from Lankiz. I don't have an Amazon storefront. Would you guys be interested in me doing that? Because like, a lot of the stuff I get that like isn't 
name brand products are from Amazon. So let me know about that. But anyways, I really adore these because they just like make my eyes look so dolly, like doll-like. And it reminds me of that, um, I don't remember who the actress or model's name was, but like she has a really iconic look from like the 60s, I think it was, with like really defined bottom lashes. I added a couple more um, drawn on bottom lashes just to like add to the dramatic effect. But anyways, we're basically done. I think we just have the lips left. So I had put on some uh, tinted chapstick, I guess you could call it. But I'm just gonna line my lips now with the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Starship. And I'm gonna round out my Cupid's bow a little bit just cause I feel like it makes me look cuter. So just for funsies. And now I'm going to be using the Amuse Dew Tint. I am going to be doing a whole uh, video on reviewing Amuse Beauty brand. They're a Korean makeup brand. And yeah, just look forward for that because I have a lot of products. So this, oh, I just broke the seal. I guess I hadn't used this one before. This is in the shade Sunday. And I just love Korean lip tints. And this is the completed look. We have my gray silver hair, my silver jewelry, my gray watch, my gray nails, and my gray makeup. My silver gray makeup. So that is the completed look. I feel like this silver gray is really appropriate for how I'm feeling in my life right now because I'm certainly going through a phase where everything is just very different from how it was even like year ago, two years ago, like my life is very different from how it was then, like my outlook on life, the way I want to live my life, you know, my goals for the future, a lot of my interests, like a lot of my interests from childhood have been like reappearing and I've been more secure in, you know, partaking in these interests. Like, you know, I'm a lot more into Pokemon again, or Lego, or Sanrio. Like, Sanrio used to be a huge part of my life, and I had gotten embarrassed about it because, you know, people were like, oh, that's so kiddish. But then it came back, and I was like, you know what? I don't really care. So I'm definitely, you know, becoming more secure with myself now, and... I just feel very different from how I used to be and I don't know if you guys might see that coming through my content. I have been a little bit more absent just because I've been growing so much as a person. It's hard to explain but I'm sure a lot of people who are like in their 20s feel this way. Like you're no longer a child, you're no longer a teenager, but you're not like a young adult either. You're like in this weird middle phase, you know, this gray area. And that's exactly how I feel right now. And, you know, I'm just gonna sit in this area for a while and, you know, bask in it. It's so hard to explain and I don't feel like I'm doing it well, but it is what it is. I also have like tattoos now. Where's my dragon, my dragon tattoo? I feel like I'm in a dragon phase right now. You know what I mean? Like, I'm really becoming who I want to be. I've, you know, resolved a lot of my trauma. I've resolved a lot of, like, my insecurities. I, I just, I hope you guys can see this change as well as, well as I can see it in myself. Um, yeah, so if you guys are going through something similar, just know I'm here for you. I'm going through it too, and I bet a million people are at the same time. And I hope that just watching my content can help a little bit. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe. If there's anything that I use that you want to hear more about in depth, you can comment it and I can post a TikTok, an Instagram reel, or I can do a whole YouTube video about it. I am really here to help. <laughs> I really just love making content and I am really looking forward to anything you guys want me to try. Hope you guys enjoy. See you guys next time. Bye. Oh, my ring. Bye guys.